I feel like I've been failing with Johnny Bench. I still have yet to hit a home run with him, and it's not like his stats are bad. I just suck with them. Alright guys, welcome back to more Baseball 9, and so in this one, we're going to be recruiting a new player, and then after that, we're going to be playing the final game, hopefully, of the Pro 1 Championship. We're currently up 3-0 on the Dodgers. Hopefully, we can win this, and then finally move on to Master League. So in the last video, I asked you guys to put in the comments who I should recruit next. Should it be another starting pitcher? Should it be a relief pitcher, since we don't have one yet? Should it be another position player? And I saw a little bit of everything, but some of you guys had mentioned how once you get in the Master League, it would be kind of important to have a relief pitcher if you don't have one. So that's what we're going to do. I have nine recruiting tickets. It costs five for a reliever. And then once we get seven after that, we're going to go with the, probably another position player. And I'm thinking a shortstop since we don't have one. And so who we're going to go for our reliever is Bruce Suter. Some of you guys may not know who that is. He pitched for the Cubs, the Cardinals, and also the Braves back in the 70s and 80s. And he recently passed away last Thursday on October 13th. So in honor of him, we're going to go with Bruce Suter. He is a legendary reliever. He had 300 saves, I think, on the dot. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to recruit him right here. And then we're going to go ahead and customize him. Okay, so I went ahead and customized my new reliever to be Bruce Suter. He was a right-handed pitcher, number 42. That's the best face I could find to resemble him. And then for the pitch type, his main pitch was a splitter. And then I have a fastball and a slider. And so we're going to go ahead and upgrade it now. All right, so I went ahead and upgraded Suter to level 25 to catch him up with the other recruited players. There are what his stats are looking like. And then also for the skills, I went fireball level 1, which is fastball plus 2. So it applies the splitter and the fastball. And then for the other skill, I went ace A level 1 which is plus one fielding to all players when he's in the match. So now let's go ahead and put him in the bullpen. So when you recruit a pitcher in this game, it automatically puts him on the bench and you have to manually put him in the rotation or in the bullpen. So we're gonna put Suter in the primary spot for Gomez and then Gomez is gonna go in for Franco. And let's just move Gomez in the start in the setup spot, Jefferson there. That's what we're looking like. That's what we're gonna stick with. And in this game we're about to play, I will debut Suter in the eighth. We'll bring Rivera in the ninth and play with him. But I will not be pitching with the starter because it's a normal and I want this to kind of be a closer game. So let's go ahead and get this game started and move into Master League, hopefully. All right, so here we go. Final game of the Pro 1 League, hopefully. And then we can move into Master and I believe we can play the All-Star game for the first time. Ken Griffey Jr. is up. He's having a decent championship. No home runs, though. Let's change that right here. Okay, I've seen two cutters in a row from this guy. Does he have any nasty off-speed pitches? It's 0-2. I'm kind of nervous. Nope. <laughs> You throw two cutters and I'm out in front of them. And then you decide to throw a four seam fastball high and in to Griffey. We hit it 404. Guess. Wow. I don't even know what to say. Wow. I'd say that's a good way to start off. Lead off batter gets a home run. Can Bonds do the same? And no. I, I don't understand. How did we not hit that ball hard? I, I just, maybe I was a little bit underneath it, but what? So technically, this is our first game playing with Jackie Robinson as a gold. We did play with them as a gold in the home run derby, but not an actual game. Let's see what we can do right here. And dead center on the cutter. That time we waited back and we hit that out. How far did that go? 436, 112 XCV though. Man, he's an absolute stud. Two hits and two solo home runs. Can Dunn make that three right here? Why is this guy just throwing straight cutters and fastballs? Does he not have a third pitch? And I don't know why we keep doing that. We just keep going home run and then fly out the center. I still have yet to hit a home run with Johnny Bench while playing with them. I mean, this is just sad at this point. And you know what? That's gonna be caught too. Nice diving play by Coleman. I gotta give him props right there, but I'll take a two run lead. Top of second, already got one out. This guy only throws fastballs and cutters, yet we keep hitting up to him every single time. Can we please change that around? Thank you, Bradley. All three hits have been solo shots. That was almost as far, if not farther than Ken's, right? About the same right there, goodness gracious. I mean, if this guy is not gonna throw any off speed, this is just gonna be an absolute blowout. We got Ken Griffey Jr. back up to lead off the top of the third. Another 0-2 count. Can we repeat what we did in the first inning? This guy does have a nice slider, and that cutter, though, is not going to cut it. I'll take a double right there. 58 speed. Yeah, these guys still don't have any arms, really. No flyouts right here, Bonds. Let's drive them in. Come on. Yes, we waited back long enough. That exclamation point pitch, I know it comes in a lot slower. We waited back. It wasn't a home run. I normally do hit those out, I feel like, but I'll take another double. Big inning right here. This is where we hit double digits. Jackie Robinson has gold as OP, I'm telling you. He's unstoppable. He's unstoppable in the gap. We could have laid off of that and waited for a better pitch, but I'll take another double. And you know what? We're going to try stealing third. He has 70 plus speed now. We're going to risk it for the biscuit. Let's send him. Let's see if 73 speed is good enough. And I actually wanted to swing. And no, he's still out. 
All right, I guess we'll wait till 80. I don't even care. We're up five. I just wanted, I don't know when we're going to be able to steal third. Will we ever be able to? This guy is throwing four straight sliders, and we fouled all of them off. He's going to make a mistake. Never mind. I feel like I've been failing with Johnny Bench. I still have yet to hit a home run with him, and it's not like his stats are bad. I just suck with them. And then as soon as I say that, he goes yard. <laughs> right on cue. Right on cue. You love to see it. We finally hit a home run manually with him. And I believe Bradley hit a solo shot in his last at bat. Does he want to do that here again? And that is going to be off the wall. I thought we were going to get cheese and they were going to catch it. That has happened before. Man, he was this close. Literally the top of the fence of hitting another home run. Wow. I like that leadoff double though. McGuire's going to come in clutch right here. He's going to move him over. Well, he moved him to third. He did his job. Score position. I believe that brings up our last batter. He just needs to put in the outfield. Come on. Just put it in the outfield, Gray. That's all we need. Just do your job. That's going to do it. Nice diving catch right there. Or it should say sliding catch by Norris. But, hey, he did what we wanted him to do. He brought him in. Top of the lineup back up. Let's see what we can do with two outs. Oh, yeah. I like this. I like this. Let's go. Exclamation point pitch. Absolutely smoked dead center. 436. I think that's how far Jackie Robinson hit his first home run. Bonds is due for a home run right here. I can feel it. Never mind. That's going to get down, though. I'll take a double. I'll take a double. And you know what? That's going to be close at second. Woo! That, wow. Okay. Maybe we need to add a little more speed to him right there. New pitcher in the top of the fifth with two outs. We got Ortiz up. Can he start the two-out rally? Two flyouts so far. Does Ortiz want to get on the board? No, he's going to hit a double, though. Not a solo shot. But you know what? I'll take it. I'll take that right there. So we got another new pitcher to start at the top of the sixth. I think this is their third or fourth, and we finally did give up a run in the last today. And this guy throws side on my kryptonite. McGuire, can we please try and do something here? That pitch wasn't even near where the circle was. Are you kidding me? Let's just stay alive right here. And we pop up. I seriously cannot hit a sidearm guy in this. Sidearm or submarine. It's impossible. Ken, can you be our savior against this guy? This guy is so annoying. And no, we pop up. I just... I. Uh. Maybe Jackie Robinson can save us. This guy throws sidearm and I cannot hit him to save my life. I just don't get it. And he does. He does. <laughs> oh, Jackie Robinson is my all-time fave. Gold. He just hits home runs. I don't even know how he does it. I mean, he he's just, he's unbelievable. All right, two outs. We got bench up. Can we do something here with bench? And we do. We go from not being able to hit a home run with Johnny Bench for how long? And we've hit two in this game on that slider against the sidearm guy. Wow. So inspirational, man. Sidearm guy is still in the top of the eighth, and he is just a pain. He throws a nasty curveball. I'm just, I'm down bad right now. And you know what? We, we got it. We got the curveball right there. He threw like three in a row. We'll fi we're finally going to hit it. Thank God. Thank God. They finally took sidearm guy out. Thank goodness. And we got the top of the lineup up. This is where we get a nice two-out rally. Come on, Ken. Let's go, baby. It's just crazy how the arm angle makes that much of a difference for me. It's the same thing in the show. I don't know what it is. I just, I can't do it. It's the bottom of the eighth, and that means it's time to introduce Bruce Suter. He's going to throw in, and we'll have Rivera come in in the ninth. Let's go ahead and do this thing. All right, Bruce, here we go. We're going to start with the splitter. First pitch of his young career. And I like it. I like it. Fastball high and in. And he pops it up. Come on, bench. Make that play. There we go. Try and hit that fastball high and away. That's 100% a strike. Where did that miss? And let's finish him with a splitter inside. There we go. First strikeout of his career. Good stuff. Clean inning right here. Let's go. And as soon as I say that, I jinx it and we give up a hit. How did he hit that slider? That wasn't even in the strike zone. Props to him. Props to Hicks. I'm going splitter inside again. I'll take it. There we go. Back goes flying. All right. So we gave up a hit, but two strikeouts. Pretty good debut for Suda right there. Bringing in the big gun. Mariano Rivera in the bottom of the ninth. Let's take care of these guys right here. Obviously going to start with that cutter. Boom. Disgusting. You're never going to hit that. One, two count. I'm feeling that cutter high and away. It was nice knowing you. It was nice knowing you. High inside cheese with the cutter. Good night. It was nice knowing you, buddy. Gosh. His, his placement is just perfect. Unbelievable. We're going to try and dot that outside corner with the cutter to finish this game. And he makes contact, but that's going to be an easy play for Bradley at shortstop and that is the game i'll take it 11 to 1 right there 
I feel like we could have done a little bit better though. I mean, that first pitcher was throwing some sliders, but that that's not that different than the cutter and the fastball. I feel like we should have done better. But either way, I'll take that. We are now heading in to the Master League. Ken Griffey did have a great game right there. I'm kind of surprised that he got it though over Robinson. I thought Robinson played a little bit better. Either it's way. We are done with pro and it's finally time to get master. And I believe once you get to master, you can play the all-star game mode as well. Silver badge right there. We're close to having another silver player. I think that's four. There we go. That's gonna pretty much do it for this video, guys. We're gonna head into master right there. And there we go. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe with that said. See you guys next time.